In this video we're going to look at how to find the interpercentile range. Um, if you already know how to work out the interquartile range then you've pretty much done this already because the interquartile range is just specific to the 25% to 75% um, interpercentile range. So we're going to go about this in much the same way. So we're going to um, calculate the cumulative frequency and so we're just going to fill in this column by adding the new values as we go through and then I'm going to uh, interpolate to find the value for the 20% and 70% interpercentile range. So I'm going to use P to represent that, so I'm going to use P20 to represent uh, the 20th percentile. So first of all I'm going to have to uh, find an, an estimate for how far through the data it is. So it's 20%, so I'm going to do 20% uh, multiplied by my total frequency, which is 22. Which gives me then 4.4. And I'm going to round up to the nearest whole number. So 4.4 means I'm going to take the fifth value. And note here that even though we've got 4.4, we still round up. We always round up in this case. So then P70 is going to be 70% of 22. And that's giving me a value of 15.4. So that indicates I'm going to take the 16th value. So now I'm going to actually find those values. Now I know where to find those values. So um, I'm going to use a diagram again, as you would have seen in the previous interpolation videos. So what I'm going to do is along the top, I'm going to show um, the location of P20. So P20, um, which we know is the fifth value, is going to be somewhere in the first group. So that's going to be somewhere between 11.5 and 14.5 and we need to remember here um, that although this says 12 to 14 because the next group is 15 to 17 the actual midpoint is halfway between 14 and 15 and then the other side of this line I'm going to mark on the values so the, the frequency so the, the start of the first group is a frequency of 0 by the end of the first group the frequency is now 7 and P20 we're estimating is the fifth value so then P20 um, minus 11.5 over 14.5 minus 11.5 is equal to uh, 5 minus 0 over 7 minus 0. And that is how far there is between P20 and the start of the first group divided by the interval of that first group. And that's proportional to uh, the frequency of P20 minus the beginning of that group divided by the range in, in frequencies of that group. So now I can evaluate P20. So P20 is going to be, uh, so 14.5 minus 11.5 is 3. 5 over 7 that becomes, so it's 3 times 5 over 7 and 11.5. gives me 191 over 14, which I'm going to leave like that for the moment. Um, and I'm going to repeat the process in exactly the same way for P70. So for P70, uh, that had a value of 16, so that is actually um, in the right at the end of one category. So that's actually quite easy. I can avoid doing this because it's exactly at the end of the group. Um, so that means that we take P70 as 20.5. So I don't need that. So then P70 minus P20 is 20.5 minus 191 over 14. 
gives me 48 over 7, uh, which is then 6.86 to three significant figures.